shoot. Hi, I'm the Morelander and this is Morelander EDC. Today's piece of content was actually meant to be almost like a two of two. It's two pieces of alpaca gear that I've been testing out recently, but on Sunday after three years of making content, I had my first piece of content where I got back and something had happened with my recording equipment and the, and the sound hadn't recorded. So instead, the first piece of alpaca gear that we're going to be having a look at is the alpaca zip pouch. Now I've done quite a few pieces of content recently around wallets and I thought, I saw this and thought, that seems really cool. It's, it's a little zip pouch, but the way that it's shown on the website, you know, it's perfect for EDC, for wallet carrying and, and all of that sort of stuff. Now I'd, I'd had my eye on quite a few alpaca gear pieces in the past. Um, and the, the, the ghost sling was the first one that I purchased. This one is the second, you know, full disclosure, I, I bought this with my own money. Um, and it's they've always somebody that I've admired from afar. They're, they're, they're from Australia and I thought, that's really cool, I like that. And I think that's what I needed. I just needed something that I was like, yeah, that tastes, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get one of those. So what I'll do now is I'll turn the camera around slightly so that we can have a look at this a little bit better. Um, while I'm doing that, you know, if you do like this content at any point, please feel free to hit like, subscribe and share and all that kind of jazz. But let's have a look at the alpaca zip pouch. So as we usually do, we'll go around the outside, materials, dimensions, and, and, and all of that palaver. Now, uh, first thing that you'll hopefully notice is this, this material. So the material that is used here on this zip pouch is the X-Pack material. X-Pack is designed in Germany, manufactured in America, and is made to, it was originally designed for sail yachts. Uh, so when you when you see the boats out there, especially in like the Olympics, you know you've, you've got these time trials, that sort of stuff. Um, they use this material in their in the in the sail class because it's incredibly tough. Um, it's also very abrasion and and tear resistant, um, and there are also some hydrostatic qualities to it as well. Just in the materials that go into the, the fibers of these, it's a little bit like Gore-Tex where it has a few different layers. One of the layers. I believe is a damn it what is the stuff the kevlar i was just thinking about bulletproof vests uh, there's a there's a there's a kevlar layer in here but all of those layers add to uh, really tough and you know it, it's it's going to take a lot to get in here um at this point i believe that this is the only version of it however if you look on the, the alpaca website i always say keep checking the website because they do lots of different editions um but this is the uh, uh, from the outside material here this is the x-pack material um on the side there is a, a, a little tab maybe if you if you wanted to add something to that you could possibly add some keys uh, and then on this side hopefully you'll be able to see here on the front there is a zip pocket and then there's another zip pocket on the top stitching wise all of the stitching is perfect on here it's really nice on the inside you'll also be able to see that the stitching is reinforced in the corners which again is another great feature zippers on here they're all ykk zippers and the two zips that we have are both aqua guard, aqua guard zips now just to give you some dimensions just in case you're interested so across the front it's roughly 125 millimeters and then it's also roughly 80 millimeters deep in old money that is roughly five inches and it's just over three inches that's three and one eighth inch um, as far as weight is concerned now I didn't write down the weight purposely because I mean this thing weighs next to nothing uh, it's one of the additional features and benefits of using x-pack material is the fact that you know this is super strong this is like your 1000d Cordura maybe even tougher but it's incredibly thin and it's also incredibly light so um, if you're concerned about weight, just don't be. <laughs> it really is that easy. Um, the zips, hopefully you'll be able to see, both of the zips have these nice little pull tabs on them, which feels a lot like 
Hyperlon. Now I'm not 100% sure, um, but it, you know, it does it does feel like Hyperlon. So I can open this, and then the, what I've done is the way that I've been testing this out is I carry between six to eight cards on any any normal day. Uh, so I keep my two main cards that I use the most here in the front. Um, Hopefully if I pull this forward you'll be able to see like my man uh, George Defines always says you know it's 2021 everything should be high vis lining so this is 200 and it's either 201 or sorry 210 or 220 I'll, I'll put it in the, uh, the thing down here um, but it's all this really nice rip stop on the front on the inside um, it's not lined, but be because it, it's just the back of the X-Pack material, um, I think that looks quite nice e e either way. But I've been using this front section for cards that I use the most. Then with the top zip, you find that with the top zip, so it opens or at least it closes all the way across to the centre. But to make sure that this corner is nice and reinforced, um, there is a th there's extra protection on on the back there from you maybe accidentally pulling it too far and and, and taking the zip off. Um, so when you get into this section, sometimes you, you find that some things you have to maybe put into the back and then fit down. But you know it's it's not particularly difficult. So in there, I've got some money. The notes here that we use in the UK are quite tall notes. Hopefully you'll be able to see if I put that against there like that. Um, you can see that they fit in. So if you're somewhere in the real world where you worry that you have particularly large notes, then you know if they're as long uh, large as the UK's, then they'll definitely fit. On the inside, hopefully if you can see there, if I open, if I butterfly this open you'll be able to see that there are two subdivisions in here depending on what you want to put in you could put in on the left hand side there I got some notes maybe a coin if you wanted to carry a coin with you and then on the opposite side you could put in um, other cards that you tend to maybe not use as much um, I've also tested this out. I mean, there's been a few days that I've done some city breaks that I've just, instead of taking some extra pouches with me, instead I've had my cards and stuff. Uh, and then in the back here, I've had some headphones and you know, it works perfectly fine. On the inside, which might be a little bit hard for you guys to see, if actually if I pull this out and push it through, there is a, a small bit of alpaca branding a little tab there but you know that's it doesn't jump out and there's i think that's what i quite like about this is that it, it has a very clean and minimal look to it which gives it this this really nice aesthetic um now as far as comparing it to other wallets of a similar vein there's there's only really one other wallet that i've got that you know would be comparable this is the chums board short wallet um Again, you know, it's it's a similar um, zip style one. Size-wise, they're roughly the same um, width. The Chums one is slightly shorter, maybe by... Well, it's less than a centimetre, maybe seven or eight millimetres. Um, but, I mean, that that's the only real one that I've got to compare it to that would be a similar zip style pouch. I think the other one that I brought out here that's in my pocket would be the Molecule um, from Pioneer Carry. Now th these are, you know, essentially they're, they're completely different wallets. However, they're, they're very similar in a vein that you have a large section here and then there's a small section on the front which you also have here um, with the Molecule. You have that large section at the top and then another section on the front if you want to put um, cards in that you use the most. Plus, I think with the molecule from Pioneer, they, they also this also uses crazy space age technology style fabrics, um, so it would be another a good one to compare. So size wise, again, you know, it's roughly the same width, but length wise, it's slightly slightly longer. What I thought I'd also show is, which is in my other pocket, I, I think if you're trying to make yourself and again, shout out to Accessorize Me who loves a nice um, all black carry. I think if you wanted to 
a build an all black carry with this sort of stuff you know you've got that little pouch a great knife and maybe a key holder as well at the same time I think it makes a great all black carry I think as far as small zip wallets go I think Alpaca have made a great product here you know hopefully you'll have seen from previous videos that I really do appreciate a minimal wallet it makes you think more about what you need to carry against what you're actually carrying and half the half the cards and receipts really can just be thrown away um, I think as far as I don't know minimal credentials oh, I just did the air quote thing sorry about that I think as far as minimal credentials is concerned it really does fit perfectly within that minimal wallet aesthetic if that's something that you, you want to go towards um, plus with the added benefit that because this pocket here at the back you can put a little bit more into if you want to if you're starting to try and train your mind to think more about do I need to carry that but you're still unsure you've still got some receipts that you know you need to then you know you can put them in here and then put them somewhere else at a later date if you choose to I'm very impressed really impressed hopefully you'll see when we look at the Alpaca Ghost Sling Pro that Alpaca are a great company and they seem to be making some amazing gear it's certainly one of the things that I know that I've had some conversations with you guys either on YouTube or on Instagram that because of the distance getting things from Australia to the UK you've got the postage that goes with that you've also got um, certain import duties it's it's a bit of I want to say that it's a, it's it's a risk but I think risk sounds like a like a bad thing because really you're definitely getting a great product but it's not something that's tangible that you can go and I know you can go to a store you can check it and think right okay that's fine I'll buy it online because it's cheaper uh, so hopefully if 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 there's been any people I was going to say worrying again I don't want to say worrying if there have been people that have been maybe on the fence and not sure whether to make the purchase on some alpaca gear then I can definitely say I'm, I'm very impressed with this and I'm, I'm glad I made the purchase myself there is a slight elephant in the room and that is unfortunately no matter what this looks like your nan's coin purse it's made with great material it, it, the zips are great you know it, it's brilliant but my nan had one of these and every time I'd go and see her and we'd go away she'd always, you know, you know, go and get yourself some sweeties. Um, it, it looks very much like a coin purse. I think if you can look past that then there's a, you know, a, another great wallet here for selection if, uh, if, you're in, if you're into wallets. So there you go, I like it, I really do like it a lot. Um, I'll leave some links in the description below so that you can see more from Alpaca. I definitely recommend um, following them on Instagram or Facebook. Alpaca do lots of um, small batch kind of things. So they, they might make these with a different liner or they might make them with a different outside. Sometimes you find that they, they like to switch things up and change the material on the outside, which Again, when I looked at the Ghost Sling Pro and the um, what was it, the Woodland Green that it came out, I was like, yeah, I need, I need that in my life. So definitely follow them uh, on social media. I highly recommend that. Um, I'll leave some of my links in the description below if you'd like to like, share, subscribe. That would be awesome. But for now, stay safe, stay Moorlander, and stay EDC.